number eight on the list. This is called the green lung. Sip song? Sip song. Okay, nung krap. Up nung krap. So to get to number eight on the list, you're gonna need to start right at this sausage man and get yourself down here. I'm about to enter Wat Klong Doi No. This is only a few kilometers from Sukhumvip. As I'm leaving the Wat and heading down this way to get to the boat, now's a good time to tell you that all the spots in this whole list are in an app that I made. It's called Teeny. You can find it on the Apple or Android store. Get the app, two bucks a month, 10 bucks for a whole year. And it's got hundreds of my favorite spots and it gives you turn by turn directions. So it makes it easier to find all these places. Once you get down to the end of this alley, you're gonna be right on the river. And this is where you catch a boat. What they kept? Ten baht. Ten baht. Ten baht. Ten baht. Ten This boat? Okay. Ten baht? Okay. Cup crew cap. As you can see, the boat that you take isn't one of the big river boats. We're right down on the water. And you know, Mark Weens had the Doucet Zoo at number eight on his list. And I'm just gonna say it, I, I'm not a big fan of zoos, okay? And, and, and even though the Doucet Zoo is famous for its green spaces, I'm going to the place that has infinitely more green space than anywhere that you're gonna find in Bangkok. It's literally just a two minute boat ride across the river. Thank you. So, as soon as you jump off the tiny little river boat, we just came, you can see the temple across the street. You're gonna enter this little hut here, and this is called the Green Lung. What you're gonna notice first is that there's just a ton of bicycles for rent. So what, Cap, how much to rent? 80. 80 baht for how long? One day. Yeah. So if you want a pedal bike, this guy will give them to you for 80 baht for the whole day. But I'm not looking for a pedal bike. I'm going to get a motorbike. Rent motorbikes? No, bike. Oh, really? Tao Dai Clam? One hour, 150 baht. One hour, 150? I take one. No, not on the back. I drive myself. Hello. Yeah, just rent motorbike. Okay, so bad news. They won't rent me just a motorbike. When I was here last time, Haley and I just rented a motorbike, tooled all around, but I'm not going on a pedal bike. I think this guy will take me. So one hour, 150, and you take me, we go together. So a little disappointed, I'm not gonna lie, but I do have a trusty driver. What's your name? Chen. Chen? Chen, okay, we got our driver Chen here who's gonna take us for a little tour. Uh, I would recommend getting your own pedal bike. Definitely kind of explore this place on your own, but let me show you a few of the spots that you're gonna wanna hit. First stop he took me to is this little place with farm animals. They got goats, they got chickens, they even got an ostrich. What? I'm not here to see you fellows. If I wanted animals, I would have stuck with Mark's Doucet Zoo recommendation. Let's move on out. This place is famous for its raised concrete pathways that are just wide enough for a motorbike. You definitely don't want to fall off the edge into the jungle or on this side there'd be a river. They got a little guardrail there. But uh, this is one of the coolest things about coming out here. So it's a mixture of those tiny little roads that just snake through the jungle into little housing communities. People living all over this place. This is really like a trip to the countryside, uh, more so than a trip to a park. So think of it that way. So I'm in Srinakan Park. And this is just a few hundred meters from where we jumped on the motorbike. And it feels a lot like a typical city park. And it's gorgeous and worth a visit. 
but there's so much more to this place that, that we visited today. This place is the size of 33 Lumpini Parks. So picture that. It's called Bangka Chow, but it's really known as the Green Lung because if you look at an overhead map of Bangkok, it's shaped like a lung and the greenness is the dense jungle just spitting out the oxygen that this city so badly needs. So come in, enjoy, take a walk around this park, but then get back on your bike and tool around because there's a lot to discover here. You definitely don't have to worry about being hungry if you come out here. There's roadside restaurants all over the place, little markets like this. Um, it really is a, a, a community and it feels like you've kind of gone out into rural Thailand as you wander around and explore this place. This is the Bang Nam Poon floating market and if floating market's your thing and you, you want to put that on your Bangkok itinerary, then you could definitely tick that box by visiting the Green Lung. This is actually a pretty impressive market. It goes on and on. Uh, there's rows and rows of stalls, tons of delicious food. Not only is there giant markets like this, there's roadside food stalls, good street food, and there's little restaurants and eateries kind of dotted everywhere along the roads. So you could definitely add a lunch to your list if, when you come out here to the Green Lung. getting tight <laughs> oh man didn't think this was two lane traffic this is an example of one of the cafes you could stop in this is called the hidden woods cafe waterfall pouring down from the trees and man it's definitely hidden in the woods Okay, I'm changing my mind about this guided motorbike tour. It's a very, very cool cafe. I never found this place when I was exploring around here on my own. So 150 baht per hour. You might want to get a two hour guided motorbike tour when you come out here. And at times it's amazing because you get lost in the dense jungle. But then you're always reminded that you're literally a stone's throw from one of the biggest cities in the world. When you're out here though, it's a complete escape. It's a really unique Bangkok experience. A giant lizard down there. That lizard and this whole video is dedicated to India. That's right, India, you're the number eight on the top viewers list. You guys have watched the eighth most retired working for you videos since my channel began. Thank you very much, India. Oh, now we're in like this covered bamboo little section here. Anyways, videos dedicated to you, India. If you live in Bangkok and you're looking for a wild little getaway, check out this hotel here, just nestled right in the middle of the jungle with all kinds of crazy, unique uh, hotel rooms. They got a cafe, a restaurant. It's a little guest house, you can stay here. Oh, mind your head indeed. It's called the Bangkok Tree House. Look them up and uh, you could really have a wild night out here in the jungle in the city. Uh, you can notice this by the giant Buddhas up here, golden Buddhas, and this pier here is where all the motorbikes and vehicles come and go from the island. We came from the way other side of the pier, the little wee boats can't fit motorbikes on those. But if you drive one, drive your own motorbike over here, this is the pier you want to come to. So there's tons to do out here. You could make a half day of it. 
you could easily make a full day of it if you wanted to. You can even do an overnight. And whatever amount of time you choose to stay here, the crazy thing to always remember is that when you're done, you just hop off your motorbike and just jump right back on your little boat for the five minute drive back across the river. I'm almost tipping this darn thing. Look at how tiny this little boat is that you take over. Okay, so out we go. Now, time for you guys to guess what tomorrow's item is gonna be. We're down to lucky number seven on the list. Drop a comment below. And if you're watching in the future, right there, that's a link to watch it right now, you lucky devils.